Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Kat, and today I'm gonna be doing a day in the life vlog. So I literally just rolled out of bed, which is why my hair looks like this. But first thing I've gotta do is head outside and open up my chicken coops that aren't opened automatically. Let's go. Whew, it is in the low 40s out here this morning, so all we're gonna do is open the coops and then we'll check back in a little while and make sure everyone has food and water. We open one and number two. I've got to get some auto doors on these so I don't have to wake up <laughs> and come out here in the cold first thing in the morning. The outside kitties are yelling at me and telling me that it's breakfast time. So let's fill up their bowls. Enjoy your breakfast boys. Everyone is in here impatiently waiting for their morning breakfast that I've been fixing up for them. Some less impatient than others. Little kitty, breakfast is ready. Look at you coming in here. It's about 8 30 this morning it is very cold inside this car i thought it had started warming up but i have a grocery pickup order at heb so we're gonna run over there pick that up and just knock that out of the way have been acquired let's get them inside if you're wondering what i picked up at the grocery store here's a little brief overview most of this is for a tilly mac recipe that i'm making for my grilling page today so like the beef broth the noodles the chili all of these things all of that is going to be for that recipe i'm cooking side note if you've never tried this non-stick foil it is the best thing since sliced bread but I'm about to put this all away in the refrigerator and keep on chugging along. I have some very hungry little cheeps in here that really want their morning mash. So these babies are a little over a week old now and they're the cutest nuggets, but they really like their mash. So basically this is just their chick food mixed with warm water. And they, oh, where are y'all? Don't get under it. And they go batty for it. There you go. Enjoy your breakfast, little babies. Look at them all. They're about to go crazy for it. 13 happy little babies that we hope are not all roosters. Can you tell they're excited about it? They have a whole thing of food right here, but they don't want that food. They want this food. Spoiled rotten. It was a little cold, so I hadn't come out here and taken care of the chickens yet. But they want some food and stuff, so let's get them fed. Look how pretty you are in the sunshine, little lady. You are so pretty. So are you. Let's just dump them some food. It is 10.56 now. I got all the chickens taken care of, so all the animals are done for the morning. I unfortunately have quite a few sick ones right now, so it's a little bit stressful out there. But I did that, and then my mom called me because she's at the doctor in Houston, and she was like, I think I threw away my driver's license. Can you run to my house and hopefully pull in the trash can before the garbage people get there? And of course, there was a train blocking, so like, what should have been a couple of minutes just took me like 25 minutes to get a trash can. But the trash can is in. Hopefully the driver's license is in there. 
Anyways, let's make some coffee and then we're gonna go get ready for the day. Coffee is brewed. I am going to add some of this toasted marshmallow skinny syrup into the coffee, like two and a half pumps. Of course, some half and half. Give it a stir. And I'm going to sip on this while I go do my hair and makeup to get ready for the day because I have quite a few videos that I need to get filmed. As always, I like to try and do my makeup as quick as humanly possible. It is currently 11.18. I'm just going to go ahead and do my makeup real quick and get it done with, and I will show you when I'm done. Makeup is done. Just a quick little makeup look, and it's 11.31. So it took me about 13 minutes to do this, but I was chatting with my friend while doing that on text message because she's having a rough day. So... Makeup is done, and I think Cody's in the shower, so we'll have to wait a minute, and then we'll do the hair. For my hair, we're doing real easy-peasy lemon squeezy and just going to straighten it. I bought this brush that has been viral on TikTok, the Unbrush, and I've seen people rant and rave about this thing, and my brush broke, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try one. I don't get the height. I really don't. I feel like it rips out my hair more than other brushes. It works to untangle it, but I feel like it rips your hair out in the process, which I don't like. And I have my handy dandy straightener and I just kind of willy nilly straighten my hair until it looks good enough. Can't say there's any rhyme or reason to the way I do this. Just Trying to get it done as quick as possible. You want to come say hey before you leave for work? Sure. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all had a happy new year and a merry Christmas. I know ours is pretty good. Yeah. He's about to go to work. Hair and makeup is done. Cody just left to go to work for the day. He won't be back until late this evening. I also won't be back till late this evening because I think I'm going to a Broadway show with my mom later tonight. I don't know a lot of details, but I see it on my calendar, so I need to call her and ask her about that. But let's put on some clothes. Let's do one of those changes where I jump up and we switch. Ready, set, go. And we're ready for the day. So this entire outfit is by the company Halara, who is sponsoring this video today. We will talk a little bit more about them later, but for now, it is time for me to film my first video of the day. I got all of my ingredients laid out for my one pot chili mac recipe. I am about to film this and it'll be posted on my Girl Gone Grillin page. So let's get to filming this video and knock it out of the way. I just peeked into my bedroom and this is what I see. These two are just cuddled up, taking them a midday nap. They just love each other. It is the sweetest thing. And I'm so glad that Smokey has him a little friend now. Oh, which is so cute. It's been about 45 minutes since I started filming this recipe. And the Chili Mac is complete. I tried a bite to make sure that I am not, you know, giving out a recipe that sucks. But this is very tasty. However, I do not need to be eating this. But the recipe did turn out fantastic. Smelling that chili mac while I was cooking really got my appetite going and I am so hungry. Yesterday I smoked a turkey and I think I am going to make a smoked turkey sandwich for lunch today. I'm going to pull some of this meat off the turkey. I have some sourdough bread. Let's toast it up and make us a sandwich. For my sandwich I have two slices of sourdough bread. I peeled off some pieces of the turkey I smoked yesterday and I have a slice of sharp cheddar cheese on this side. I'm about to go pop this in the toaster oven and let it warm up. While my sandwich was toasting, it's a beautiful day outside, so I decided that the house bird could come spend a little time in my extra chicken coop for the time being. I set her in there and I looked up. This is what was looking back at me. I'm glad I realized he was in here. But he found him a nice 
place to take a nap, I guess. Sir, I'm gonna have to get you out of there, buddy. My friend needs some outdoor time. As much as this little bird would love to stay a house chicken, she has got to learn what the outdoors is as well. And it's a beautiful day to do it. All right, the sandwich is toasted. Let's build our turkey sandwich. I'm gonna add a little pepper to the turkey as well as just a little salt. A little spicy mayo. I had a little bit of extra red onion in the fridge, so why not add some of this? And lastly, I am going to add some romaine lettuce. Add the top on, and we've got our turkey sandwich ready for lunch. And now to finish the meal, I have some of these Quest protein chips, the sour cream and onion. I'm gonna add a couple of those on there. And lastly, I am going to add some of these fresh berries that I got at HEB a day or two ago. I just sat down in my office. I've got my lunch, which looks absolutely fantastic. It is 1.34, so I am definitely real hungry. I've got my Stanley full of water that I am sipping on, and I'm about to sit right here, eat this delicious lunch, and start editing my Chili Mac recipe video to go up on my grilling page. I finished editing the Chili Mac video. I got it uploaded and I had a couple of things that I needed to get done on the computer. So that is all out of the way. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, this video is sponsored by Halara. And I am so excited about this. I have known about Halara for years at this point and I was always like on the fence. I was like, are they good? Are they bad? Like they can't be as good as everyone says, right? Laura actually ended up reaching out to me and I was like, of course, I wanna try on some clothes and give my honest opinion. I got a couple of things that are kind of out of my comfort zone and I am just so excited about it. So they also gave me a 15% off code that I can share with y'all. It is Kathy15 and I will have it down below in the description but let's try on some fun clothes. Let's start by talking about the Halara outfit I have on, which is totally out of my comfort zone because it is cropped. It is this waffle knit, it is hooded. I also just love the baby pink color. As you know, I love pink everything I buy. If it can be pink, it's gonna be pink. Speaking of, you know, my Stanley, my phone case my jacket. Underneath the jacket, I have this cropped tank top, although I don't know if I'd call this a tank top. It is very cropped for me, out of my comfort zone, which is why I'm covering it up with the jacket. And then the leggings I have on is the Cloudfold fabric with pockets. These are super soft and cozy, and they fit me fantastic. And I think I got a medium in these. Up next, I have another one of these cropped hooded sweatshirts, and this one is in this beautiful royal blue color. This one is so soft and cozy. Like I wish you could feel this fabric. It almost feels like velvet. It is so cozy. The next thing I have on are these cloudful joggers. One thing I have been surprised about with every item of clothing I've put on is just how nice their fabric is. Did not expect that at all but my expectations have been exceeded. These are high-waisted joggers. They have these pockets right here, but there's also like a little zipper pocket so you could put your valuables in there. So this is one of their activewear dresses that they are known for, and it just fits so nicely. It's got shorts underneath. I love it. The fabric is so thick. I love that they're short, so you don't have to like pull the whole thing off when you need to use the bathroom. This top is just a really soft, comfy, active top. So it's got the fun crisscross V detail in the back. And it's just like a good everyday wear that is perfect for workouts or just lounging around the house. But I actually have this paired with some denim from Halara and I could definitely wear this out to dinner or something. I wanted to make sure I got this right. So the pants I have on is the Halara Magic high-waisted crossover pocket washed stretchy super flare jeans in the shade washed denim dark blue. These pants are petite 
for people like me who are, you know, 5'1", they also make normal and extra long sizes, but these are awesome. These pants are incredibly stretchy. They look like denim. They have pockets in the back. They are flared, sorry. Let's adjust the camera down a little bit more. But they are flared. I've got one more pair of pants to share from their denim collection. And I've gotta say, I did not order this pair but it somehow got sent to me. So this is a black, it looks like straight leg type jeans. They're super comfortable, super stretchy. Like I can bend in these almost like leggings. It's very similar to their legging material, but it looks like denim. Not exactly my style, but I may find a use for these. The last two pieces I have to share is this Cloudful ribbed fabric mock neck shirt. I've got to say, this is incredibly flattering on. Now, would I wear it with these leggings? Probably not, because it kind of accentuates my lower belly, which I'm very self-conscious about. But this may be paired with some of those jeans. Might be a cute fit. The cool thing about these leggings is it's from their Padded Off collection, which is pet hair resistant leggings. And when you're like me and have too many freaking animals that shed, this will be great that I'm not gonna collect pet hair along the way. So if you're a crazy cat dog lady like me, this could be for you. If you've been on the fence about trying out Halara, I am going to push you to give it a try. You can use my code Kathy15 for 15% off any of their full priced items. I've gotta say, I am just so impressed. Great quality clothes, incredible comfy fabrics, and very affordable active wear and more because they don't just do active wear anymore. Highly, highly recommended. And thank you Halara for sponsoring this video. Is there some little baby roosters that want to see their mama? I'm sure there is. I mean, come on, are they just not adorable? I love this little guy, <laughs> he is so funny. Since I lost my one little kikiriki rooster, these, especially this one, cause he's got short little tiny legs, and this one, this one just teeny tiny, and it's got short little legs. They are good prospects for a new rooster. Since I lost my other little kikiriki rooster, I have no one getting the business done and fertilizing my hen's eggs. So hopefully one of these boys grow up big and strong and they get to join my ladies. These little roosters, they just like to be loved on. And so I come up here and I just play with them like Barbie dolls and they love it. Look at them. Can you not eat my camera? but I can just do whatever I want with these little guys and they're just happy to be included. I can just hold them, I can dance around with them. You know, just a crazy chicken lady doing crazy chicken things. <laughs> it's looking at itself and looking at the camera like, what is that? <laughs> I just brewed myself an iced coffee and I just got off the phone with my mom. I mentioned earlier that we were supposed to be going to a Broadway show tonight. Well, she has had quite the day and we heard that the show was just not that good. So we opted to just stay at home tonight so she can have a chill night and we don't have to drive all the way into downtown Houston, which is kind of a good thing for me because I have a lot I need to do and not enough time to get it done. It is currently 428. Cody won't be home until about 10 tonight because he's got to work late and we're just going to try and knock out a bunch of tasks that need to be done. A little while ago, I booked my flights because I have to take an impromptu trip to Florida in a couple of days. We unfortunately lost a very dear family friend this week, but I need to make sure I get all of my work stuff straightened out before I leave town. I know, it was just so awful. You had to be outside for a little while, but it's starting to cool off, so we'll bring you back inside for the evening. Watch this little bird. I'm gonna open up the door. Oh, ready? Ready. <laughs> She's like, you're not leaving me again. Ready? Here's the bird. Speaking of this little sweet bird, I unfortunately got a message today letting me know that her 
owner Jesse unfortunately passed away and that just breaks my heart to hear that but I told him when he was sick that I would take great care of his, his little sweet bird who just bit me in the face but I will make sure to take care of her for him my days really just consist of me going from place to place around my house filming different things so I'm back in my office and I just edited a little video about that house chicken because I just thought it was so cute how she'd chase me across the yard. So I made a little video about it to post on my Gulf Coast Cluckers page. If you didn't know and want to know more about chickens, um, you can find me at Gulf Coast Cluckers across all the social media channels. Because not everyone wants to hear about chickens, but I also make chicken education videos, if you didn't know. But that has its own dedicated platform, because unless you have chickens, no one wants to care about medicating, taking care of, or even just watching chickens in general. <laughs> so, check that out if you're interested. But, now, next thing on the agenda is filming yet another video. So... I ordered some stuff on Amazon. I have this camera right here, my Sony ZV-1. I film with a Sony ZV-E10, I believe. But this little camera is just a little small compact camera without a lens that can be removed like this camera that I'm filming on right here. But this would be like the perfect little travel camera and I bought it and I just don't use it that much. <laughs> So I'm about to film a video on my page that is the Catherine Chronicles, which is yet another page that I have. And that's just kind of like my page that I do whatever I want on that I love because I like talking about technology and beauty and stuff like that. And it just doesn't fit into my other content. So I made a new page because I don't already have enough things on my plate. But I got this little adapter to put on the camera. I got a light to put on the camera to make me look nice. And I got this attachable lens that goes over the camera. And I'm basically about to make a video putting all of this on my camera. Giving you some behind the scenes look into me trying to shoot this content using my phone. A random background I found on YouTube to make my video look cool. And of course, pink to match my pink, more pink. So let's get into working on filming. This is such an awkward angle. I'm in this squat trying to film putting this on my camera. Really fun. It comes with a furry windscreen and all you do is just slide it right into the camera. I picked up this adapter because it allows me to have a... My little camera video is filmed and edited and posted on the Catherine Chronicles. I have been a little filming machine today. This is the third video I have edited and put up today across my social media platforms. Plus, we're filming a YouTube video. So we have just been filming, 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 filming. Anyways, it is 7.53. And I need to head outside and go make sure all of my little birdies are locked up. And then we're going to come inside and make us some chicken tortilla soup. This dumb little chicken just will not learn how to go to bed. So I have to crawl my little self through this coop and go collect her every night because I don't want her to freeze to death. Come here, dummy. There you go, go to bed. The other day I bought him a cat tree on Amazon because they liked climbing the Christmas tree so much. And they just lay up here. Look at Smokey loving on her. That is just so sweet, Smoke. But they love this thing. They play on it, they sleep on it. God, that's so cute. Oh my God, do you love her, Smokey? Join me for my very fancy meal that I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm about to sit here, watch TikToks on my phone. I heated up my chicken tortilla soup from HEB. I have some Southwest Ranch veggie dip and some carrots. I guess we're having a very orange meal tonight, but 
that is what I'm having for dinner. I had planned on just like a really simple meal because we were supposed to be going into Houston tonight. Oh well, easy dinner for me tonight. Good frickin' morning to me. My God, did we get some rain in the last couple of hours. Look at how much rain filled up this tub that I had sitting on top of my chicken coop. That's like a couple inches of rain. Oh no. This is never any good. It is 55 out this morning. I am in shorts and a t-shirt. And we are walking in water. Poor roosters. I need to go clear my drains and most of this water should be cleared out within a couple of hours, which is really good. But we just had so much rain within the last two hours. It just poured and poured and poured. Y'all aren't gonna wanna come out, but I'll open it for you. What time is it? It is 8.24, because I could not pull myself out of bed until the rain stopped. Yeah, what a day. What a day. Man, I have not had this much water in my yard in about a year since I put in my drains, but it just came down so hard and fast this morning that my three little drains couldn't keep up. But the water is pouring out of them. So we'll check back in just a little while and see if we can tell a difference. Like, look right here. The island is completely underwater. Let's see if that dissipates here in a couple hours. Hey y'all, sorry I just ended the video abruptly last night. We ended up just chilling on the couch when Cody got home. But it is the next day. As y'all saw, we had an absolute monsoon this morning. At 5.30 a.m., I woke up to what sounded like bombs. The thunder was so loud. Oh golly, my vacuum cleaner is hitting me on the feet. But we got like inches of rain within a span of like two, two and a half hours. So my yard is completely flooded. But I'm about to go clear the drains and I think by this afternoon, a large majority of the water should be gone. All of a sudden I got a notification that my dog grooming was today. I completely forgot. I have a dog groomer that comes to the house. So now I'm running around like a crazy person, picking up, making sure she has a space to do her work for the dogs. And now we're about to go force Cooper to go potty because he likes to not go out when it's raining. Whew, always something. Just a little lakeside walk in the front yard this morning. What'd you think, Cooper? Let's do a little before. We got scruffy little Bobo. We got little Cooper Pooper who is in desperate need of a trim. <laughs> yeah, to snort about that. It's been about three hours since I recorded the first video showing you what my yard looked like. If you've been around for a while, you would know the mass amount of problems I had with flooding. But let me show you what happened in just three hours with the addition of those drains. A large majority of the water has drained off. We're not a lake anymore. We just have some puddles that are slowly draining. But in three hours, it used to take like a week to clear this water out of here. By the end of the day, all this water will be gone. It just blows my mind every time. You've gotta be me. <laughs> what is this? No. I hear peeping under there. Where is it? There's no way. There's no freaking way. Apparently, I missed an egg. Oh my god. Where's your child? Here you go. Put it under you. Look how good little Bobo looks after his hair cut. Oh, you're so fresh and clean. And we got Mr. Cooper Pooper, who's looking like an undercooked baked potato. But he looks so good. 
We also got Bonnie and Harley here hanging out for a couple of days. Hey guys, I think it's time to go ahead and wrap up this video because a day in the life turned into like a day and a half in the life or so. But thanks for tuning in and seeing what my days look like as a full-time content creator. My days are always go, 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 trying to pump out content along with taking care of my 100 plus animals. It is always just a crazy time around here. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.